Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, I did get a chance to do a little bit of crafting this weekend. Um, so I wanted to share you guys, uh, show you guys some of the projects that I worked on. Um, so just to show you the papers that I use, I did use this Mary and Magical, which is a paper studio uh, that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, which is so super cute. And I did do a flip through before, so I won't do it again. Um, on a previous video. I also use some of this Winter Wonderland, which I think is adorable. So I use both of those paper pads to make my projects. So let's just jump right in here. I'll show you guys what I made. Um, so I was um, watching Erica's channel, who's Scrap Diva 29 uh, here on YouTube. Oh my gosh, I try not to watch her videos because I absolutely know I'm going to go buy something after I watch her videos. But she did show these cute little um, coffee cups. Um, I, I don't know if she got it um, in one of her design team packages or she just purchased it. I can't remember, but it's so super cute. I do have a couple of dies like this, but what I loved about this one is the size of it. It's like the length of my hand, which is a really, really good size. Um, so, so super cute to make some embellishments. So again, I did use some of that really cute paper. Um, I used one of these little red doilies. Uh, this was gifted to me. Um, from Anna. Um, I think they're doodle bug um, doilies and she gave me a whole bunch of colors. So they're so cute and they're just the right size. They're probably only about two and a half inches. Um, so really cute. Um, I did pick up this cute little embellishment um, from Hobby Lobby as well. I fussy cut this out of the paper line to uh, have a little saying there. And I just used craft card stock for the lid and for, you know, the little whatever the thing is that you slide onto the coffee but it's so super cute really really cute um, and then I also made another one using some of that really cute paper again and this time I used a little Santa and by the way these are felt if I didn't mention that so is a little um, the little reindeer um, and then I did put a little bit of stickles on the hat here and on the uh, mustache and then I used this as well I think I picked this up from Hobby Lobby as well and then I just put a little pom-pom at the the bottom of the hat super cute and I did fussy cut this out as well and this one I did put up on some pop dots just to give it a little bit of dimension but really cute super cute and I again love the size of those and I'll try to link any of the dies that I've uh, used in my video um, into my description box I believe that they're all still available but um, I'll do my best um, and then I love this little box. I got this from Alina Craft um, quite some time ago uh, on AliExpress and it's a cute little box. Um, so I did pick up this little Santa Claus die that everybody's getting. It's so cute. It's like a tag. It does have a little piece that you can hang it, but I did cut that off for the purposes of making this. So I did go ahead and create the Santa and I used some of this um, Stampendous glitter mix. It's multi-crystal, uh, which this was also gifted to me by Anna. I love this stuff. It's so super glittery. I love it. Love it. Um, so I, I glittered him up good. <laughs> I did his hat and then I did his uh, mustache and beard. So really cute. This cute little die that says Merry Christmas. I also picked that up from AliExpress as well. And then I did another little pom pom there. So I could definitely put some little goodies in there and ship it off to somebody. But I, I really love this die. It's, it's, a, um, it's pretty easy to make and doesn't take too much time. So the Santa was quite a few pieces. Pieces. All these are like individual pieces, but it still wasn't too bad because they're not super tiny with the exception of the eyes and the little ear pieces. Uh, but yeah, really cute. I love how that turned out. Um, and then the next thing that I made, I wanted to try something different. So I don't know if you guys remember this. Um, those of you who bought this, um, either the real one or the one that came from AliExpress, um, it's a little chick die, super duper cute. Um, that This little Santa right here, the hat, it fit perfectly on this little chick. So I wanted to give it a little, uh, give it a try and make some little Christmas chicks. So I love that and I love the little glasses and then I put a little pom pom. I used some of that glitter again for the hat and the one in the jar that I just showed you really really cute and put the little glasses and everything on there so thought i'd give that a try that'll be cute to pop on a card or something to send to somebody um i i made a second one as well really cute 
I never know knew if these are the feet and these are the hands or vice versa. I think I've made it both ways, but this looks more like a wing to me. So I put that uh, on the sides here. So really cute. Same thing. And I kind of stickled the hat on this little guy as well. And then the last thing that I made, I did make a little French fry box, which I love making these. These are so cute. Um, I picked up this um, from Hobby Lobby as well, one of the Christmas embellishments that they had. And then I just created the box and I did the paper with the strung Christmas lights. And then I did use a little lattice uh, for the front. It also has a lattice thing that you can put on the back as well, but I didn't do that on this one. Uh, I guess you could use it in here as well. And then I did put some little pearls that I have, some strung pearls, and I hot glued those on there. So, so cute and uh, so fun. I'm just really getting started with doing Christmas. So I'll probably have many more projects to share with you guys. Uh, and again, I'll uh, try and link the, um, the dies in my description box if you're interested in any of these dies so thank you guys so much have a great week coming up and thanks for stopping by i'll talk to you guys all very soon bye